And look, stop caring about what they say about you. Matter of fact, do this. Do things on purpose so they can talk about you. Do things on purpose so they can laugh at you. As soon as you do that, you can get over it. As soon as you do that, you can laugh at yourself. But once you can stop caring about what people think about you, I'm telling you, life gets better. You can really be who you are. You can really say what you want to say. And I'm going to keep it 100. A lot of y'all need to start a YouTube channel. Instead of always watching people and looking up to people, you need to start your own YouTube channel because guess what? The answers you have, the things you overcame, somebody needs to hear that. Somebody needs to know what you went through in life. Somebody needs to know what you accomplished in life. Some people need to see that, oh, okay, I'm not alone. I have somebody that's going through the same thing I'm going through. I have somebody that went through the same thing I, I went through. So some of y'all need to start your own YouTube channel and stop just watching other people. So I'm going to keep it real. Start your channel. Don't just watch other YouTubers and comment on their stuff. Start your channel. And look, it's going to be negative people in the comments. I don't care. You could be preaching about saving kids. And guess what's going to happen? It's going to be somebody negative in the comment section. You have to learn how to fall in love with that. Fall in love with negative people. Actually, show them love in the comment section. When you start showing people love who be negative, you're going to really see that. People are not really negative. they just trying to start something. But when you be positive, when they being negative, watch what happens. They go apologize to you sometimes, but don't be afraid of the negative stuff. Don't be afraid how people say, oh, you look like this. You, Bro, don't worry about that. And this one, I'm going to say, it's going to come from the heart. A lot of y'all are treating your gifts and your talents like it's a side chick. You treat YouTube like it's a side chick. You doing a video uh, once every two months. You doing a video once every month. What you think will happen? You think you're going to grow, um, I ain't going to say a fan base, but you think you're going to grow support because you're doing one video a month? It don't work like that. You have to really give it your all. You have to really go hard every day. You have to make time for what you love. I don't care if you love making music, making beats, making art, making videos for YouTube. You have to put your heart into it every day. And I always hear people say they don't have time. You have to make time. We make time for bullshit all the time. So you have to start treating your gifts and the things you are blessed with because all of us have something that we good at. Matter of fact, I want y'all to put in the comment section, what's one thing you are naturally good at? I mean, you don't have to practice. You don't have to, you can just start doing it and you just naturally good. Put that in the comment section because we all have something we are naturally good at. See, you want to take that and you want to express it and you want to beat it. You want to beat it every day because you different. And that's the best thing about being different. That's the best thing about YouTube, TikTok. When you show who you are, your uniqueness, people gravitate to that. And you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to speak perfect. You don't have to look perfect. You just have to be you. A lot of people these days are not themselves. A lot of people... A lot of people these days, they're copying what they see other people doing. It's okay to be influenced by them, but be yourself. Once you start being yourself, nobody can be you. So when you be yourself, it's nobody else like you on YouTube. It's nobody else like you on TikTok. So you're going you're gonna to grow the people that support you. The people that support you, they're going to come. You're going to have your own tribe of people because they relate to you. And look, I'm going to be honest. In life, people really don't care, bro. Once you start getting popping on social medias, whatever, people going to be calling you, texting you, asking you how you're doing. But when life is down, <laughs> ain't nobody calling you. Ain't nobody checking for you. <laughs> I'm telling you, when life is down, nobody checking for you. When you hate your life, when you're broke, nobody calling to check for you. But as soon as they see you popping a little bit, they they trying to see how life going. Don't even fall for that. Don't even fall for it. Don't even get the big head. It happens. It's life. People are humans. So people don't really care. Once you understand that, once you understand people don't care if you're successful or if you're not successful. Once you get that through your head, you'll be okay. And, and I'm going to tell you the number one way to stop worrying about Will you be successful? Will you get to this? 
The number one way is consistency. Every day, you tell yourself, every day, I'm going to make music. Every day, I'm going to write. Every day, I'm going to practice this sport. Every day, I'm going to paint. Every day, I'm going to create content. Every day, leave nothing to chance. I saw a quote. It was like, it's not about being perfect. It's about consistency. That's facts. When you consistent, bro, I'm telling you, you stand out. Because a lot of people can't do this every day. A lot of people can't do what you do every day. So find that thing that you love and you're great at it. And you create value with it. And you, every day, take no days off. When I say no days off, take no days off. And that's going to eliminate worrying, depression, and stressing. Because you just went two months applying pressure every day. Something got to change. You kicking at a door all day, you gonna break through that door. And look, this is another major thing, the fear. A lot of people just have so much fear inside them because they're afraid to fail. They're afraid to look foolish in front of people. They're afraid of people just talking about them. Look, let go of fear. Let people talk about you. Let people laugh at you. Let people think Life is over. Just let them think it's over. I'm telling you, your consistency is going to override everything. You showing up is going to override everything. It's going to override their laughter. It's going to it's going to override their doubts about you. It's going to override them talking negative about you. Your consistency overrides all of that. You showing up every day. First day, they going to laugh. Second day, they going to laugh and talk about you. Third day, they still laughing a little bit. Fourth day, they laughing still. Fifth day, the laughing to calm down. Sixth day, they not talking about you. They trying to figure things out. Seventh day, they like, oh, shit, he's serious. She's serious. That's how it's supposed to be. Every day, show up because a lot of people can't show up every day. And when you stand out every day, I'm telling you, it's nothing to worry about. I told myself when it came to YouTube because this year, yeah, I was kind of sad. I was like, dang, man, I kind of fell off on YouTube, you know, because I was proud of the work I put in before. And I told myself like a month ago, I said, you know what? Instead of feeling bad, negative, I'm just going to post a video every day. I don't care if I get two views. I don't care if I get 200 views. I'm going to post a video every day. And this is like day 43 in a row of me posting videos. And I'm not stopping. So whatever you good at, whether it's singing, rapping, uh, making art, photography, whatever you are passionate about, do that every day. And tell yourself, I'm going to do it every day for six months. And watch how you change. Watch how fast your life change. Watch how fast your mind change. Watch how much you start believing in yourself. And now I'm going to leave y'all with this. We all got that little voice. We all have that voice in our ears that just tells us, you supposed to be doing this. Why are you not doing this? Yeah, I know you at work. I know you making money at work and yeah, the money good. But why are you not doing this? This is what really makes you happy. We all hear that voice. Do not run away from that voice. I don't care if you have to go to work and after you get off work, do that. But do not run away from that voice. The longer you run away from that voice, the longer you will be depressed. The longer you run away from that, that voice, the longer you will be stressed. The longer you run away from that voice, the longer you're going to be worried because you're not doing what your soul is telling you what to do. And see, look, every day now, people come on YouTube to hear things. Every day you're on YouTube. Every day you're on YouTube. But you ever thought about something? You ever thought about, damn, when was the last time you listened to your advice? When was the last time you listened to your voice? When was the last time you listened to your soul? It's okay to listen to other people, but sometimes you have to shut everything off and listen to you. And look, a lot of times we forget that we actually have control. You have control of your life. Not that job, not your boss, not your manager. You have control of your life. You dictate what direction you want your life to go in. It might take you a year to turn that boat around, but you can turn it. So sometimes you have to be patient and give yourself that year. Sometimes you got to be patient and give yourself that six months. Because when you got big goals, like think of a big-ass ship. When you got big goals, 
it takes a long time to turn that big ship. So, so sometimes if your life has been fucked up or messed up, it's going to take time to turn that ship to go into the right direction. So life is really all about time and patience. So sometimes it's okay to be patient. It's okay to have a six month goal. It's okay to have an eight month goal and stick to it. You control your life. 